you make of the real feeling behind the data in this Pew study? People are scared. Yeah, and there's been a lot of talk about AI, and to be frank, we hear the word AI associated with so many things, and every single movie out there seems to be talking about AI, and it's always evil. So no wonder people are concerned, but you know, the real concern is they're confusing AI with automation. And automation is not AI. Automation is actually what makes us humans. We've been doing automation forever. Monkeys don't do automation. What's the difference between AI and automation? Well, we make things, machines that make things simpler for us so we can do something else. That's the whole point of investing in technology. And the real issue here is that if they're worried, they shouldn't be worried about the technology. It's about business. We need to be, make better businesses that actually use this technology and AI to take advantage of the automation and create new jobs. That's the whole point of AI, actually. It's interesting that at the same time AI is advancing, you have companies like Facebook saying they have to hire 10,000 people to do the job that AI still can't do. Exactly. I think there's a really interesting example here. We have a case study of terrorism and abuse online. We've seen Facebook and Twitter uh, invest a lot in machine learning algorithms to try and catch that. Yet we're also seeing them simultaneously uh, hire thousands of people to manually catch that and even though we have thousands of human workers trying to do this in combination with AI it's still not enough and I also think it's interesting that you have tech luminaries like Elon Musk tweeting regularly about sort of these apocalyptic narratives about uh, AI. I have that tweet from Elon Musk saying China Russia soon all countries with strong computer science competition for AI superiority at a national level most likely the cause of World War three same time Mark Zuckerberg has responded to these apocalyptic warnings. Take a listen to what Zuckerberg had to say. With AI especially, I'm really optimistic. And I think that people who are naysayers and, and kind of try to drum up these doomsday scenarios are, um, I, I just, I don't understand it. I think it's, it's, it's really um, negative. And, and in some ways, I actually think it's, it's pretty irresponsible because you know, in the next five to 10 years, AI is going to deliver so many improvements in the quality of our lives. Luis, is AI going to be the end of the world or not? Who do you agree I, with here? I don't think so. You know, I, I like to think of technologies about how hard it is to bring a technology to the world. So think about Bitcoin. Bitcoin, just about last week, was predicted to use as much energy as the entire United States in two years. So how are we going to power that super evil robot if we cannot even power a single Bitcoin currency? Uh, so there's a lot of questions there. And people, naysayers and so on, are forgetting, I, I agree with Mark Zuckerberg, that there is a lot of problems we can solve now because we have AI.